Hi there, sign of Aries. Okay, that should stop shaking any time now. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Let's get right into reading. I'm going to check with the Sacred Rebels Oracle. I'm going to get an Oracle message first, and then we'll just go right into a Celtic cross for you, Aries. Next 48 hour. I'm going to do it like this too. For Aries, what you got? Hmm. 44. Okay, there's something really good about like this path that you're on um, currently. 44 visions of life beyond death. Wow. So, and then receiving is on the bottom of the deck. 27. <clears throat> hmm. 40, so, and, and maybe these are uh, visions that are trying to come to you or trying to be received by you. Let's do an action card here. Excuse me. Cut with coffee. I hope that didn't sound too bad. Intimacy. Get support. And strength and courage. And strength and courage. And visions of life beyond death okay let's um let's get some tea leaves too 44 tulip great passion grapes time to go out and have fun all right so the mood here with these cards are really good let's pull from this part too Um, kangaroo, but it might be that these times are behind you or more towards the past. Unsettled times you need to plan ahead. Apple temptation will test you. Temptation will test you. Let's do another, another one. <laughs> one more. Slowly but surely getting ahead, tortoise, and then haystack karma, you will reap what you have sown. So the tortoise and the haystack. Tortoise, sh slowly but surely getting ahead. Um, it's like the um, Knight of Pentacles, or it's reminding me of the Knight of Pentacles. So that's good. This is success. Visions of life beyond death. The peacock, the pride, the strength, the owl, the wisdom. Okay, we might not do a Celtic cross. We might just do, I'm getting to the past, present, future. Past, present, future. I'm feeling like that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I will clarify using a different deck then. So the three of cups in the reverse for the past energy, that could have been like uh, somebody that overdid it or somebody who was overdoing it um, when it comes to partying, possibly. Um, so it could be about that haystack could be about dealing with those consequences. Um, I would watch out. Well, this is in the past energy, but so this would represent any time that there was um, a group situation or third party situation where um, it wasn't good for you. It wasn't beneficial for you or something like that. Uh, a not so great influence. Then I have the um, Ten of Wands for the present. Which is like, it's good. You've done all that you can do and there is a completion. So that's a good thing with this card. Um... But it is, it is like, okay, the time for action is about done. So you're about to some kind of completion. Um, the Six of Swords is a future energy. So that's going from a stormy time to a calm time. And it, it is listening to your intuition about leaving. 
that might be um, in, in the mind, though, regarding something in the mind. <sighs> so it's not so great influence. I have justice energy as the challenge. So either, yeah, finding truth and clarity out of this group or this situation would have been close to impossible. So it's like things were not balanced, but um, there might have even been a lack of abundance at the time or something. I mean, things could be strained. I mean, there's just a lot of things that could be off. So what's coming to a completion? Oh, okay. So that card is coming back again. Uh, this one on the bottom of the deck. Receiving. That is how I see the Queen of Cups energy. It's like being able to receive. Um, really beautiful energy. Being able to receive. This is about receiving self-love too. It's also about getting um, good. Like treating yourself good health-wise. Uh, getting back in touch with your intuitive side. And you may have done all that you can do action-wise, and now it's time to sit back and receive. So that can also be uh, what that's about. Tell me about the future energy, Six of Swords. What are you going towards? Good partnerships. Harmonious partnerships, things working out with relationships or with the regards to relationships, being really in touch with your emotion, your intuition, and open to changes, even if it's just little bit by little bit with the moon energy. All right, so let's get some advice. Obviously, this past energy, we kind of, you know, just moving past it would probably be the advice for that. But we'll get a card. Advice for this past um, justice energy and three of cups in the reverse is the hanged man. It's the waiting. So the advice is um, patiently waiting. But while you're waiting, um, you'll have a new perspective. Uh, waiting and getting a new perspective, I feel like, is making you open to towards having more compassion maybe because of gone gone through something you've gone through that was similar to what somebody else has gone through um it does feel like a sacrifice for some kind of indulgence or or it might be cause and effect of some kind of indulgence Okay, advice on the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands. The moon. Another moon changes. Open up to uh, getting hits from your spiritual gifts, abilities, your intuitive side. And it's a, a time to embrace some changes. I think these are positive, beneficial changes that make you more receptive to opening up to harmonious relationships here in your life. It's two of Cups, real love or a real, um, real partnership that works out. Advice for the future. Um, it, it's saying whatever you've been through in the past and whatever, maybe even gossip or games or maliciousness was done or overdoing it. You're able to see through lies, um, lying, cheating, stealing. You're able to see through or spot deception very easily. It's not going to, um, it's not appearing in your future energy as something you have to deal with. So that's what I've got for you guys. Hope you got something from that reading. Let's get um, some oracle cards and wrap up your reading. It's just a short reading um, for your next 48 hours. So let's get a room card. 
Pisces, Pisces, Sagittarius. Um, there's definitely uh, something in the past that had to do with waiting, waiting for justice, waiting for scales to be balanced, waiting for a cause and effect, possibly. You've done all that you can do. You're about to hit a completion. You have carried like a lot of weight on yourself, on your own shoulders. Nice. Yeah. And I see, I see that as completion. And this is travel, possibly. Letter E, um, A was horse movement. The keyword is travel, journey, trust, uh, ally, pro progress, transportation. Uh, shamanic journeys, move ahead, mindful progress, and building harmony. Uh, intentional forward movement. Balance between rider and mount. Travel between physical and spirit realms. And a trusted ally or steed. A trusted ally. Yeah, let's get another one. So where's this travel? I feel like that Six of Swords is leading you somewhere. I am appreciated. Know that you are appreciated. Healing. Healing relationships or partnerships in your life. I am good enough. And feel it. Yeah, this is really feeling it for sure. For sure. Watch out for temptation. That might come back with that apple card. <clears throat> Thor's hammer, protection, regeneration, justice, defense, guardian, righteous, purposeful destruction, defense, getting justice, love relationships, a force for the good, righteous anger, fighting back, Protecting what you cherish and a good defense. <laughs> a good defense. I like that. Okay, let's get something from this deck. Fortune cookie. What do we got? It's something from the past for this action card. Is this thought useful? What you resist persists and love, joy, freedom. Love, joy, freedom. Wisdom. Yeah, there's that the owl. Wisdom to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. And I feel like they're saying it again, trust your intuition, especially when it's time to move on. It says, trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Okay, angel number message for Aries to wrap up their reading. This is closing out their reading. I have 30. You're an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent uh, for using creativity to convey your ideas. And your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I'm imaginative. And I have 21. I'm inspiring on the bottom. You are highly creative. Not on the bottom. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one. On the bottom, I have I am kind-hearted. 18. So 21 says... Um, you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged and it reveals in itself everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring is the message. And you know what? I think we'll do one more. Yeah, I'm going to pull from these. The sacred spirit. Oops, sorry. The sacred spirit. Definitely have a message here. And maybe it's about the tur a turtle or the turtle. You are between worlds 
And this is getting new directions. Yeah, so you'll be going somewhere between worlds. Number five, getting new directions. Maybe that's about the support. Is that it? That's it. That's what I got for you. Aries, sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me.